What exactly holds all this stuff together in this huge universe? Why don't all these stars and planets just go flying off in any direction all over the universe? Why do they stick together in groups and clusters like solar systems and galaxies? These are excellent questions, and the answer is gravity. Gravity is an invisible force of attraction between objects. It's the force that holds galaxies and solar systems together. It's the force that keeps us firmly planted on planet Earth instead of flying off into space. It's the force that keeps the Earth orbiting around the Sun and keeps the Moon orbiting around Earth. You can't see gravity or touch it, but gravity is present between everything in the universe that has mass. Because of gravity, Every single bit of matter in the universe pulls on every other single bit of matter. You and I exert a pull on each other, but because we have very little mass in our bodies compared to celestial bodies, our gravitational pull on each other is very small. So small, we can't even feel it. Mass is just the amount of matter an object has. You and I are small compared to, say, a planet or a star. We're made of less stuff, so our mass is much, much smaller. Mass is important when you're trying to understand gravity because the larger the mass, the larger the gravity pull. So objects with really large masses like stars and planets have a really big gravitational pull on other objects. And objects with really small masses like you and me have really small gravitational pulls on other objects. So small we don't even notice the pull at all. The more mass an object has, the more gravity or pull it's capable of. Because Earth has so much more mass to all the things that are on the surface of the Earth, its surface gravity keeps the things on Earth from flying off into space. You, your house, your bed, a ball you throw up into the air, all these things stay on Earth due to gravity. Even Earth's atmosphere and the oxygen we breathe are held close to Earth by its gravitational pull. Gravity also causes you to have weight when you stand on a scale. Earth's gravity pulls you down, and the more mass you have, the harder the pull and the higher the number on the scale. Think about an astronaut who's standing on the moon. The astronaut stays on the surface of the moon because of the moon's gravity. If the astronaut stood on a scale on the moon, the astronaut's weight would be six times less than the weight of the same astronaut on a scale on Earth. So a person who weighs, say, 60 pounds on Earth would weigh only 10 pounds on the moon, about the weight of a bag of flour, because the moon has less mass than Earth, and its force of gravity is not as strong. But the astronaut doesn't get pulled off the moon and back through space to Earth. Earth still has a larger mass than the moon, and it still has a larger gravitational pull than the moon. But because the astronaut is far away from Earth and very close to the moon, the gravitational pull of the moon has the most effect, and it keeps the astronaut on the moon. That's another important thing to know about gravity. The distance between two objects affects the gravitational pull between them. Objects that are close to each other pull harder than objects that are farther away. The effect of an object's gravitational pull lessens as you get farther away from it. The sun has a lot more mass than Earth does. But the sun is also a lot farther away, and because we're on the surface of the Earth, Earth's gravity has a much bigger effect on us, keeping us firmly on Earth. One of the many benefits of gravity. The sun contains 99% of all the mass in our solar system. Because the sun has more mass by far than anything else in the solar system, it also has more gravity than anything else in the solar system. The sun's gravity, or force of attraction, is so strong that it constantly pulls the planets towards it. You may be wondering why the planets don't crash into the sun if the sun is pulling on them. Don't worry, that never happens because the planets are also moving really fast in their own orbits around the sun. The combination of the planet's own speed and the sun's gravitational pull towards it is what keeps the planets constantly circling in orbit around the sun. It's a perfect balance. Sometimes gravity is so powerful that a black hole is formed an object or area with an extremely strong gravitational pull. There are many black holes in space, and a black hole's gravity is so strong that once something gets close to it, nothing can escape it, not even light. Astronomers find black holes in space by noticing the movement of objects around them. 
You can't see gravity, but you can observe the way the force of gravity affects objects. Scientists are still learning about black holes like many other things in outer space. On a clear night, we can often see the moon moving across our night sky. Have you ever been curious about why Earth has a moon? Many scientists think that about four and a half billion years ago, there was a massive collision between Earth and a very large asteroid. The information they gathered shows that the moon may have formed from the leftover debris from this amazing impact. Earth's gravity was able to hold the moon in its orbit. There's a strong gravi gravitational pull between Earth and the moon. The moon's gravity pulls on all the things on Earth, including people. But Earth's gravity is strong enough to keep us on Earth. The moon's gravity also pulls on Earth's oceans, but Earth's gravity pulls back, and it's a good thing it's stronger. The moon's gravity is just strong enough so that it can move the water on Earth enough to cause tides in the ocean. Tides cause the regular rise and fall of the ocean's waters. People can see the effects of tides if they're at the seashore. High tides cause the waves to come high up on the beach, and when low tides occur, the waves don't come up so far. Low tide is a good time to walk on the beach and look for shells and creatures that live in the sand. So yes, the powerful effects of gravity can explain a lot of interesting things in the universe. It's what holds our moon in orbit around the Earth. It's what causes ocean tides on Earth day after day. Gravity is why we stay on Earth and why objects we throw into the air come back down. Gravity even helps create new stars and planets by helping pull together the gases and dust that form them. We can't see gravity, but we can see its effects all around us, on Earth, in our solar system, and throughout our galaxy.